looking at it and it. And I just walked into him and died. Dang it! It's Konami time! Hard game on the Super Nintendo. It's a good game, but the game is fucking hard. Opening sequence. In the year 2102, the United Earth Government is under a state of siege from the forces of the Dark Axis, led by the evil dictator Venkar Amen. The Axis forces have waged a bloody three-year war against Earth. Now only a handful of warriors remain in defense of free Earth. Equipped with advanced robotic combat suits, these valiant few are known as the as known as the Metal Warriors. So whenever I play a game, I always do a I do always do a practice run or two, and this game's practice run was fucking fear infuriating. Just because this game this game is hard as fuck. There's not even any options to change or anything. You can change your name though. Alright, but let's jump right in. You also only get, I think, like five continues. Yeah, 16 bit animation. Primary systems engaged. All secondaries are green. Alright, let's go, flight units. Ready for launch. How about ready for dinner? Oh, looks like there's a furious battle going on. Explosions, mission one. Rescue at Axis 5. Mm, locate an Agent Marissa and... Locate Agent Marissa and get out as fast as you can. I like how you can just kill the little dudes too. Bouncy shot! Oh, I guess I don't need Prometheus. You can actually stand under here and die instantly, too. Nice shot, idiot. Blocked. You also take a lot of hits in this game. Careful for the drop-down things. Nice shot, idiot. Bouncy balls. Thanks for shooting that. But yeah, you do have to be kind of careful in this game. Number three shot. Ooh, hi, spider. Is it worth using you here? I kind of like having the mobility of flying around. You also get a handy map too. Which, if you use an ability, so the sword here does damage per frame. If you use an ability that does damage per frame and you pause it, it's like Blaster Master where it just constantly does damage. <laughs> Refill. Fresh mech. And those things are annoying too. Those things chase you. And I think the hardest thing about this game is trying to get to a right, the right plane to actually shit hit enemies at. Because there are a lot of enemies that will just go above or below your shot. None of your shit. Dude, leave me alone. Did that guy just get killed by his friend? Take this guy out at an angle. Three shot. But you actually can't take a lot of hits in this game. Missiles! The three shot penetrates. Also, bosses in this game are ridiculously hard. Hello! Thanks for rescue, now let's get out of here quick. And fly out. Mission complete! Whee! Alright, back to home base. This game is long, I think it's like 9, 10 stages. I want to congratulate Lieutenant Stone for the fine job you did at Axis 5. <clears throat> Axis forces are still unaware of our presence. This gives us an advantage. Our mission today is to capture intact a fully loaded Axis supply ship. Three Nitro units will board the ship and capture its command bridge. The supplies on board that ship will strengthen our forces significantly. We Doesn't actually look like a very big ship. Okay, never mind. It's just far away. <laughs> Mission 2 boarding party! All right, party time. Good luck, Stone. All right, take you at an angle so you can't shoot back. If you can get a rocket hit on those guys, it kills them instantly. You can't shoot up. 
Shoot those rockets! Explosions! I guess I can't shoot them, just shoot the one up there. See how annoying this shot is? I guess I could have gotten that guy to shoot through here. Oh well. I don't need that box anyways. Ow, little dude actually hurt me. None of your Havoc shit. I'm keep shooting at you. Eventually it's gonna get through. Boop. 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 I'm just here for an hour and a half to kill this guy. Reverse gravity. And health. Murder everybody. Oh, gotta go it alone. So when you're alone, you have, uh, what are it, 10 hit points? Everybody's gonna time you to see it was at 9. Did it! That number hits 0, you die! The ship is ours! This scene is canon. Our mission today is of the utmost importance. The agent we rescued from Axis 5 gave us the location of an enemy supply base. The base is located on a heavily shielded asteroid. Our ship will knock out the base's shields. Lieutenant Stone's group will secure the base after the shields are down. Alright, to the asteroid. <laughs> Alright, big ass cannons, take out that shield. I'm taking your sweet time. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna fire our lasers! We okay guys, attack! They knew it would take exactly that many shots to take out the shields. Mission 3, War on the Rock. Welcome to the rock. What, Alcatraz? Good luck, Stone! Grenades! Pew! Pew! Oh, too bad I can't hit those little guys with grenades. Infinite health? Slightly strong shot. None of your Havoc shit! I hate those things. Ooh, minor inconvenience. I hate how when they, uh, take damage and go to the next stage, they automatically shoot. Dude, stop that shit. Anything down here? Yes, mines! <laughs> How dickish. So if I need health I, can, health, I can always go back to the beginning and get that health again. There's also this I can pick up here. So the trigger these just go up to them and it'll automatically open them up. Alright, time to cause some havoc. Whee! Yeah, see, it sh shoots right away again. You just lose the Nitro's mobility for a little bit more attack power. And some ground speed. I mean, you can hover a bit. Do a little jump and then do a bigger jump. Ooh, health. Bye, guys. Oh, crap. Escape and go back. It's like there are certain places you shouldn't park your mech. That was one of them. And which have despawned by now. <laughs> Good work, Stone. We've captured the central power core. An enemy ship is dropping space armor into the base. Don't let them destroy the core generators. So things can go very poorly here. Because they destroy the cores. They're destroying the core generators. You gotta stop them. That's when you just have to, get to kill a certain amount of enemies. You have to make sure all the cores don't die. You gotta protect the cores and... I wonder if this is the best way to go about it. Each core can only take two hits. Good work, Lieutenant Stone. You have saved the power core. Now get to the hangar and stop the enemy drop ship. Forgot to hit that. You don't have to worry about this, Max. The enemies only have AI to get into Havocs and Nitros. Pick up some first aid while I'm here. Oh, I gotta go up. So if you're speedrunning this, you can actually, like, run over here uh, while they're destroying the uh, cores, get on the ship, and then finish that whole section. Because if you finish that section before they destroy all the cores, you just win the mission anyways. I'll just build us a bridge. Disable the gun turrets and see if you can take the ship intact. 
If you have uh, nitro, you can just sword these things and they die. This thing's not even shooting at me. You make your way inside here. Great job. Now bring the ship back into the hangar. Alright, take it back to the right. If you want, you can kill all the enemies on the left side at the start of this mission. Did it. Alright, back to home base. So these first missions are quick and easy, but it becomes significantly less quick and easy starting now. As of today, Lieutenant Stone is promoted to the rank of Captain. Congratulations, Captain Stone. Much of our recent success is owed to your skills as a pilot. If I become higher ranked enough, can I just sit on the ship too? However, our success has attracted the attention of Axis forces. Attacks by enemy space armor have increased tenfold in the last day. Well, that's a lot to increase in one day. Our nitro units are badly in need of rest and repairs. I want to use the two captured Prometheus units to strengthen our defenses. Two good pilots in these units should be able to defend the ship completely. Unfortunately, there's only one skilled pilot. Well, there goes... Isn't that the ship we just captured? Oh, mission 4, ship defense. I ship that. I'm on defense about things. Alright, gotta make sure the ship doesn't take too much damage. Mainly this ma main part right here. It's like, unfortunately, you can't shoot past uh, the, uh, your mines don't go past this thing itself. The mines help tremendously getting the enemies above, up above. Oh, get fucked. We need some help here. They're doing some serious damage. They're doing some serious damage to me. Seeker shots. Alright, how many more enemies are left? This place does have just limited enemies to go through. If you don't know about using these mines, or these uh, flo floaty bombs, this can get very horrible very quickly. Man, this thing's taking some damage. All the cannons certainly took damage. Hurry, we can't take much more of this. Do I have somebody helping me out here on another Prometheus unit? Probably not. Also, where's this last dude? If you can cause some friendly fire. There he is. Did it. Success in today's mission will give us a foothold on Earth. Failure could spell doom for everyone here. Captain Stone's group will enter the atmosphere in a low-level approach. Target is a huge ground defense cannon based in Ketchikan, Alaska. Ash Ketchikan? Destruction of the cannon is essential to safe air operations of our forces. Mm -hmm. Wee! I think stage starts those little missile trucks which launch three missiles at a time and just fuck you up. Or maybe it's the next stage. I know these stages are gonna get horrible. This one's the first stage with the real boss. Mission 5, Frontal Assault. Good luck, Stone. We're gonna start off with one of those. Good luck, Stone! No, we have another mech there, a ballistic. Grenade dude. Whoa! Screw you, grenade dude. Mines in the air. I see the boss is already launching shit. <laughs> those guys are having the time of their life. <laughs> bouncy grenades, bouncy grenades. It'd be funny if they could hit each other. Hmm, what's way over here besides the Havoc unit? So you're already taking a lot of damage. Because those grenade dudes hurt. And this let us know. I guess this is an alternate path. These things are annoying. <laughs> Time to switch out mechs. Wee. Wee. It's one of the hardest ones to control. 
especially on slopes. Boop. I guess that dash is only for travel, not really any damage. Can I hit you? Kind of. <laughs> run away! No, run away! Run! Alright, I'm pretty sure that's first aid. Bring my damaged mech over for it. Yay, fresh mech! Hmm, Havoc! Get my own Havoc. Somebody's shooting at me. Fuck you, science. This looks like the boss. Alright, so there's several ways you can go about beating this boss. You can go and take care of all of his extra cannons. Take you out through the wall. And there's a cannon up here. Use a shield to block its shot. Then once you take care of those two cannons, you can just freely shoot it and it should be done. You don't want to get too close because it does have grenade launchers. Another thing you can do is if you're on Havoc, you can actually sit down below and aim at a proper angle to hit it a few times per flurry. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can actually use a uh, sort of hack spot on top of the cannon and get pushed behind it. But that's a little risky because if you get pushed in the wrong way, you'll end up eating a bunch of grenades. Did it. Landing on Earth. The enemy has an underground research facility on the coast of Chile. Captain Stone's group will lead a raid on the facility. The mission is to locate and steal the enemy's new full flight combat unit. Whee! Off to the jungle. Welcome to the- Welcome to the jungle, baby. You're gonna die. The jungle explodes. Mission 6. Jungle War! And this, so this is a big three-part mission. Good luck, Stone? No? I don't get a good luck? Oh, what are you gonna do? You can't do shit. Suddenly, Prometheus. Rockets! Let me in! It's not like Blaster Master where jumping into your mech gives you your, uh... your health back. These guys are horrible, them missile trucks. Those guys. They also put en 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 enemies in annoying areas. Where it's like, there's this guy here, but if you go over to the right side, that cannon shoots at you. And there's a significant, significant lack of health supplies. Aha, uh -huh, health for my damaged mech. Ooh, be careful. <laughs> Dangerous missile, dude. Idiot. Yay, health. Can I shoot this guy from here? Wee. Another cannon down there. Well, that's shitty. Haha, <laughs> get destroyed. Those cannons are annoying. Also, you. That's right, hit the wall and die. I'm not sure what's the best path through the stage, because I'm sure there's multiple. As you can see from the map, should let me use my sword on the mines. <laughs> Open up more passages. <laughs> ah, jerk. You can't shoot down. Neither can you. I need more health. Ah, uh -huh, new mech. Looks like I need the new mech. I know it takes a little bit to come out before you fire. It's kind of unfair that you guys are shielding each other. Being able to shoot these mines is annoying. Well, you're not gonna shoot at me? Fine if you insist. Take an hour to kill an enemy. Alright, that should open up the end, so let's try bringing this- I think I get my health restored. Good job, Captain Stone, you found the entrance to the underground base. Yes, I'm back to full health. I appreciate sure that's health, so I'll leave it there just in case. As I make my way through this ridiculous base. Hit a button. So there is a boss in this area. Through the zappies. Hot stuff. Sword you. <laughs> it's kind of douchey. Dude right there, so if you park right there, there's a chance you can get into your mech. Alright, this is shut off. Health. Spare Havoc unit. <laughs> Go along the bottom here. The worst is I don't even think I'm hitting him. Yeah, see, I'm not even hitting him. 
and go to the other side over here for health. Don't go all the way up in this elevator too, it crushes you into the roof. So there's a passage down there in the lava, and if you get rockets here, you can actually go and get a spider mech. <laughs> Nothing up there where those guys dropped in from. Alright, this looks like the boss room. So this boss is annoying. Let's see if we can get some shenanigans on him. You've reached the end of the line, punk. In a moment, you'll be cooking in the lava below. So yes, there's lava below here, and he fires off grenades and shit. But if you can get lucky... There, we got out of there. Careful for grenades. If you do it right, sometimes he'll get stuck underneath in the lava. I feel like his missiles are his least powerful attack. You can also block them. Grenades everywhere. So if you get stuck in his grenade loop, you just get fucked up. I believe in the speed when they actually skip this boss by using a spider glitch. The other option is just run in here and fight him. <laughs> He's gonna drop through. Cause there's a whole bunch of med kits in that uh, area too, repair kits. Hmm. Grab that flyer and get out of there. The most mobile mech. Blue Soul also has at least health. What's way over here? Power shot. Rain on your parade. We take out all the mines. Save the med kits. If one I really need them. I pick up one now. Grenade launcher. Shoot it through the little hole. Let me out. Odd trick. I might be where little respawning dudes. Bye. Open those doors and get that flyer up to the ship. Doors open successfully. Haha, <laughs> none of your shit. Alright, door open. Doors open! Wee! We're off! And fly to a barrier. Did it. That red glow in the sky is from Dorado City. El Dorado? Axis forces are burning the city so as to leave us nothing to capture. Captain Stone's group will proceed to Zone 4 of the city. Your job is to keep the Axis forces from destroying the base there. From giant worm mechs. And lots of missile trucks. Mission 7, fire! Good luck- I'll finally get another good luck stone. Oh, immediate mine. Collapsing buildings! Drink the juice! <laughs> Not so much for that Prometheus unit. Annoying grenade dude. Is it gonna collapse? Let me down there to the item. Yes. No. There we go. Number three. Is this a penetrating shot? Yes. Is there a point in opening that? Yeah, I guess there is. Bouncy grenade! Uh-oh, missile truck! Sword the missile- Sword the missile truck. Just blaze a path with my Havoc unit. Oh, it's a good thing I got these rockets because I'm gonna wear up before the elevator and comes back down. Fuck, those guys are annoying. Oh, fuck off, mines. Collapse? More collapsing? I think I can go with Havoc. Prometheus doesn't work very good against this boss. Oh, made it! Oh sweet, I got repaired too. Three large Axis units are just ahead. Don't let them destroy the base in Zone 4. Alright, don't let them- don't let them get to the base in... Area 4. Or Zone 4, that's where we're at here. We'll open this up. Dang it! How do you get in front of it? <laughs> oh, you can hurt it here. That works. Alright, one down. Ow! It means there's one below here, right? Oh, boosted! Alright, don't get hit by that cannon, but uh, here's, here's a pretty safe spot to jump over his shots. Getting in front is the easiest way to just destroy it. Yeah, you got fucked up. 
One more to go. Oh, there it is. Wee! Rocket jump! <laughs> Secret shot. Shoot in your face. Pause trick. Did it. Hooray, back to the ship. Our success on Earth has put the Axis forces on the defensive. The mission today is the first step in putting a quick end to the war. The main Axis communications tower is located 50 miles from our current position. A lone pilot in a nitro unit will sneak through the enemy lines and enter the tower. The pilot will steal the access command key and bring it back here. Alright. We're off to the big tower. Secret mission, the tower. I was like, welcome to this stage. It's a big tower, but uh, you can't really do much with your nitro unit. I mean, you can hit that for that item. Alright, we're heading in. Don't want to get by, by Bazooka, dude. Takes off, I think, like five. <laughs> Scientists! Hit some buttons. Oh, I got the command key. Now get out of there. Fly out of the tower. Try not to get your ass kicked on the way out. Ooh. One of the most dangerous enemies, those laser dudes. These guys. So you want to see a neat trick? So if you do this dive, you actually regen some of the damage that you take. So this thing here would explode and do a lot of damage, but instead I can just keep on diving and take no damage. Same with that. We'll open this up. So one of the things you hope for is you hope you get an anti-gravity here from one of the random boxes. Because if you can... It makes this boss significantly easier. Because unfortunately this mech, mech, what is it, Drake? Drac? Doesn't get very much life. Mm. Wee! Wee! Hit random switches. You can use Prometheus to climb a tower too, but it's annoyingly difficult. And time consuming. Be patient when fighting enemies. Health! Oh, jerk! Bye! Ah, you can't hit me. I feel like most of the enemies in this game hitting the player without being able to, for them being able to hit back. Hide. Oh, hello, goodbye. Ah, anti gravity. How about Uncle Gravity? Now I need first aid. Wee, secret shot. My body hurts. Careful for laser, dude. Suddenly, grenades. Diagonal shots. Dude pushes into the shots. Alright, looks like they shoot three grenades and stop. Those things are dangerous, but they don't have much health. That's a dangerous place for a grenade, dude. It's a dangerous place for a laser, dude. I have to be super cautious because my mech is hurting. Alright, this is boss room. There's grenade dudes over here. I'm gonna use this passage to kill you. I think I left one box somewhere way down down south. So this attack here is ridiculously strong. The reason why I want anti grav is because I can do it upwards at this boss. Ah, there we go. I think I was lucky too because I think that's a random box. Hang on, can I bypass the boss by going down here? Boop! Wee! Dang it. Oh, right through you. And then I just walked into him and died. Dang it! <laughs> well, I guess I get to start this whole mission over again. Go this entire section again. It's what's frustrating about this game. You go spend half an hour making it to a boss to die and you have to start the stage over again. Doesn't know that this first section is actually really dangerous, too. Got the command key. Uh, again. These cannons are annoying. Just because of this mech's inability to take a lot of damage. Bye. Pick up some much needed health. Guess one advantage of having Prometheus is you get access to all the other items here. 
Yeah, I think that's a random item, so maybe I'll keep that there. Take forever to kill enemies. Mm, boop. I think that's always oh, secret shot. Health. Alright, this should be grenade area, right? Alright, this is boss room. Alright, get lucky with a random box. My health, though. Get a health. Alright, let's try this again. Get health. Damage! They're actually fast enough. I think you can actually open those before the boss even does anything. Alright, let's get out of here. I fucking hate this mission. Alright, back to basics. What the fuck? This is the big one, folks. The Axis Central Command lies directly below us. Captain Stone's group will be le leading the attack. <laughs> That's better. Intelligence has it that the en enemy is trying to build a super weapon. Your job is to get inside and knock out this super weapon, if it does exist. Alright. Final stage? Big cannon. <laughs> Explosions. Final mission. Good luck, Stone. <laughs> Good luck, Stone. That's kind of jerkish. Starts shooting at me. What a great way to start this mission. It's kind of kind of, kind of jerkish. I shoot down through here. Be cautious in your descent. Because of those things. Oh, that's jerkish too. <laughs> Control your mech properly. Dang it. What could be in here? Is there like nothing just releases that guy? Kind of feel like no. Can I hit you like this? Yes, I can. Be very careful. No, screw off. Also, no grenade dude over here. Ow! Fuck, this place is horrible! You go against the wall, they can't hit you. Kind of annoying, there's no real stable place to stand. Made it. Can I get some health? My mech hurts. Oh, I see these grenade dudes. This looks promising. Move over. Thanks. Good kill like that before we can cause any trouble. <laughs> Careful, don't get crushed. I think the right side just has annoying enemies in it. Or the left side. Little dude. I can't remember my way through here, but I think there's a Havoc unit I need to pick up, don't I? Yeah, I think right here. Get chained. Block, 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 block. And get fucked. Jerk. Bye. Oh, this place is annoying. Also, we're back to first stage music. Access core. Good job, you found the entrance to the underground base. It's another multi-parter. Annoying grenade dude. I'm going on the spot. I'm just back and forth. Lots of annoying defenses here. Not enough repair kits. Could it be? Repairs? Yes, repairs. Fucking grenade thing. Climbing this place feels annoying. Jerk! Try not to get crushed. Oh, I see you, laser thing. And then jump to the other side here. Made it. Uh, I saw you up there. Screw you, grenade dude. Precisely shoot this. That's not precisely shooting it. Heh. <laughs> Surpri surprise! Right through your shield. Nice try, idiot. Control this game is so stiff. I'm running low on health. That's okay, we have this big boy. And we'll drop on down here. Prepare to meet your maker. Alright, let's try to get this guy with as many of these things as we can. You can even hit the spike ball. Alright, good, that didn't hit me. 
kill the spike ball and let him run into all these. You want to fly into these things. How many phases do you have? God damn it. And get to go through this entire stage over again. He just keeps making more of those annoying arms. Keep hitting him. Okay, good. Kill the arms as they appear. Or the gun pods. Run into my explosives. Fucking stomps. Eh, here we go again. Alright, funny thing is that the spike box actually has a hitbox. Slow down. I wish I could see the boss at all times. This guy has so many phases. God damn RNG, I'm running out of continues too. I should be entering angry stompy phase here. You don't want to get close to angry stompy. Because it just kills you. You also don't want to be below him when he gets out. Get, get past him! You may have destroyed the Axis forces, but you will never stop me. You're, so, you're supposed to race him to the top here. So you can actually start past him, so you can try to get away from him. Get past these people. I think, does he block these off? And then you make it out here first. LOL! That's right, get fucked! Alright, so being cautious, the first, like, five stages took 20 minutes, and then the next four stages took, like, three hours. Well, that looks fairly damaged. Good luck, Stone. Made it out. Yo, I'm way over here. Like, I'm pretty sure they can't see me. They can probably see the wreckage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Save your nitro. Did it. Fuck, this game is hard. <laughs> Last boss took me a few tries, too. <laughs> but yeah, you only have five continues in this game, so... I feel like a lot of the bosses are just RNG. Using Promethean on the last boss, you don't get a lot of mobility. Also, I'd say sp spot the random white dude, but I'm pretty sure this entire game was made by them. <laughs> Alright, well, should I continue to punish my myself with some hard games, or should I go for some easy ones? <laughs> Yo! I'm over here! Why, oh, you don't even get to see the- oh. You don't even get to see the whole thing? The game's just like, nope, you go back to the title screen. Anyways, I did it. I went through Metal Warriors. Man, this game is a headache. Thanks for watching! Did you like this video? If you did, press the like button, leave a comment, share it, press the left button to subscribe, turn on those notifications, and press the right one to watch more retro games. Thanks for watching!